some breaking news coming out of the Middle East in the last few moments. Uh, confirmation from Israel's foreign minister telling the Reuters news agency, or certainly reported by the Reuters news agency, that Sinwar is dead. Yahya Sinwar, leader of Hamas, uh, has been killed in Gaza, according to Israel's foreign minister. That confirmation coming through in the last few moments. We know that the Israeli military was uh, checking the possibility, in their words, that it had killed Sinwar as pictures emerged uh, purporting to show his uh, body. The 62-year-old uh, has led Hamas within Gaza since 2017. Our international affairs editor, Dominic Waghorn, joins us now. It's taken some time, Dominic, for this confirmation to come through. Uh, dental records, DNA being tested, but it does appear that we now have the news, the confirmation that he has been killed in this Israeli military strike. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Because not that long ago, a few minutes ago, there was a statement from the Israeli Defence Forces and the Israeli police saying that there were uh, multiple processes of identification that re were required to confirm that the corpse they found in Rafa, it seems, in southern Gaza, was indeed the body of Yagya Simwa, the uh, Hamas leader. And now we seem to have Israel cats. The Israeli foreign minister saying that, uh, or publicly saying, yes, they believe the body is that of Yahya Simwa. So we'll have to see if other uh, ministers come out and that, that is officially confirmed. But I think for the foreign minister to say, it, to say it, clearly the Israelis believe that they have got their man. The most wanted man um, has been uh, killed in what appears to have been, uh, by chance, a, a, a battle in, so in southern Gaza, in Rafa, where well, the Hamas leader was, it appears, on the surface, not in the tunnels below Gaza, where he's been hiding and eluding uh, Israeli attempts to kill him for over a year now, but on the surface he does seem to have been killed in what may have been some kind of combat between Hamas uh, and the Israeli uh, defence uh, forces. So confirmation from the Israeli foreign minister. We're outside the Kiryar, this is the security headquarters in Tel Aviv, where the military and intelligence echelons are based, and inside there will probably be part of the identification process that's been running for a few hours, but also they will be processing what this, this means for their war, of course, uh, and the removal of a man who has been a masterful strategist. Yaya Simwa is someone who spent 20 years in Israeli jails, and in that jail, he learnt about and studied his Israeli captors. He learnt Hebrew, and he got in into the, inside the mind of the Israeli people and understood and tormented the Israeli psyche arguably better than any other enemy that Israel's had. And so the attack that he devised, along with others, on October the 7th uh, last year, was designed to strike at the very heart of that psyche, uh, provoked a massive reaction from the Israelis, killed more Jews than have been killed uh, since the Second World War, uh, and then uh, caused this uh, war that has gone on for more than a year now, and obviously took many hostages. And behind me are the families and the relatives and supporters and friends of many of those, those hostages. Uh, and um, talking to them, in the last few minutes, we've been asking them, what do you feel about the news, the reported news, that Simwa uh, is dead? And actually, not the kind of euphoric reaction you might have expected. Uh, they all said to us that uh, they welcome the news, but they're rather cautious about what it means. One woman said she thinks it might make matters worse for the hostages and their relatives and their friends who come here every night outside the Korea to protest, to keep pressure on the government, uh, to keep those hostages at the forefront of their minds and the minds of Israelis uh, in general. Because, uh, of course, the fear is that a year on, and more than a year on, many people are moving on from the plight of the hostages. Uh, but I think people here are digesting the news that Yahya Simwa has been killed.